and landing phase lead, uh, Al Chen. Thanks, Matt. All right, everybody, this is a perfect time to depart the news conference about the exciting events that is going to be happening today and take you out to the Space Coast where Fox 35's Amanda McKenzie is joining us live at the Kennedy Space Center to talk about the excitement today. We are counting down to the big moment for NASA, the future of space exploration. We're hours away from the Perseverance rover landing on the surface of Mars. So again, good morning, Amanda. How are you doing? And it's going to be an exciting day for sure. Good morning. Yes, a highly anticipated event that will have visitors and scientists on the edge of their seat here at the visitor complex as they watch and wait for the Mars Perseverance rover to touch down on the red planet. All of this will be live streamed here on a jumbotron for visitors. All right, so we're taking a look now at some uh, some VO of the event. It's going to be very exciting. Astronomers are calling this touchdown seven minutes of terror. Why is that? <laughs> well, for about seven minutes, this rover is going to be speeding through the atmosphere of Mars at about 12,000 miles per hour. And in those seven minutes, it will lose communication with the scientists here at NASA. So they certainly will be sitting on the edge of their seat, hoping and praying that everything goes according to plan. The spacecraft will have to carry out very specific pre-programmed maneuvers in order to survive and land in shape. Let's talk about the technology built into the Perseverance. Yeah, it's the largest and most technologically advanced spacecraft mankind has sent to Mars. It has its own drone style helicopter, better cameras and sample collectors. All soil samples will be gathered for a later pickup date by another spacecraft to be launched in the future. Oh man, this is all so cool. What are scientists hoping to learn from this mission in particular? Well, they're hoping to find evidence of ancient life and they're heavily invested in this project. It was a three billion dollar project that set that was launched uh, last July. So it's been traveling for seven months, over 300 million miles. So they're hoping to find those answers. All right. Fox 35 Orlando's Amanda McKenzie there at the Kennedy Space Center. Thank you so much for telling us about all the action that's going to happen today. All right, everybody, we're taking a live look now at XRAD Radar, showing you the current weather conditions.